to remember. And then with some Dumba. So we got opening hands and everyone's happy with them. Yep. Super happy. Super happy. Hey, hey, uh, can't, hey raise a show of hands. Who has Sol Ring in their opener? Just me. Hi, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the stack. Welcome back to the video before I'm Neon Mushroom is Davis Commander EDH gameplay backslash I don't know. Budget commander today, and I'll start. I'm playing Wilhelm the Rock Cleaver, which you may remember as actually a lot of these commanders are from various pack tactics. And this is just a zombies deck. Uh, it's got two plans, one better than the other. The, the first plan is zombies attack on mom, uh, draw cards because that's what Wilhelm does. And the other one is I couldn't afford Gravecrawler in this budget, but I sure could afford Liliana of the. It's you'll see it's in my op did, is it in my opener. You're probably seeing it at this point. At this point, it's in my opener. And um and and shambling guess. It's pretty cool. And uh, that's how I try to win. It's great. Guy, what are you doing? Kaima, the Fracture Calm. From another Pack Tactics video. From the other Pack Tactics <laughs> video that you should watch. Uh, this should have been a toad. Because what does he do? At the end step, he goads. At the beginning of your end step, goad each creature your opponent's control that's enchanted by an order that you control. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Kaima for each creature. Goad it this way. So, it's enchantress, but for your friends. Go and then he gets bigger and you attack people with it. Enchantress for your friends. And, uh, and you turn sideways and hope you win. Hope you win. So enchantress for your friends. Enchantress for your friends. Right, what about your enchantress? I got I got Trellisara. It's a life gain Voltron go wide. It can do it either Voltron or go wide. I've seen if you watch MTG the Stack Rebound, you will have witnessed Foley at some points at like 500 plus life. And we're still playing the game because we told ourselves <laughs> we need to finish the games on the stream. Well, you can still win with commander damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You sure could <laughs> you do could. that. This might be like the first or second game it's had on the main channel, though. We haven't had yeah. it a lot here. Calvin, of course, is playing a crowd favorite. I've been thinking about the D&D for a while because they just did the spoilers yeah. with uh, the new boo. And so today... The, the new planeswalker that can be your commander. But this one is just white, blue, black. I want to go into everyone's dungeon. Yeah. Slowly. It's going to be great. Um, and can someone comment down below if Sephiroth exists in Baldur's Gate? I want to know how much hope I should have. I'm on it right now. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, he's, 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 he's the real Commented. Card oh, okay. game time? Card game cast time. these out, so there's no chance that anyone cheated, because Foley is a pure good boy. One, yeah. two, three, four. Zynga. Hey, look. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, you, watching this right now, have you considered playmats? Right now on InkGaming.com, you can find the Pandemonium Bobble Playmat, what we play in the stack, available in all four colors, starting from $24.99. You can also head over to the actual Pandemonium Game and Hobbies on Middlebolt Road in Garden City, across the street from City Hall, to find the two exclusive mixes sold locally at $19.99. Pandemonium can be found online at Pandogames.com, and the links to the playmats can be found in the description. You want to take those words back? <laughs> well, when, when you're, when you're, no, it's it's because he's so pure. He's we, so got, pure that the the, the lords made him have it. All right, Foley, you're clearly a cheater, but you can start. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna leave things off with the planes, and then and a Johnny's welcome. Whatever creature enters the battlefield on my control, I gain a life. So not everyone's though. Not everyone. It's not. It's not an essence word. Nope. That's Go ahead. Okay. okay. I'm gonna draw. I'm going to play a sunken hollow tap and pass. I'm gonna untap up cute. No, for turn. Oh, that's. I'm not gonna play this, but I did draw a sunken hollow. Um, I'm gonna play River of Tears as my land for turn. Trigger the River of Tears. Think about that. I'm gonna play a Sol Ring. Uh huh. And I'm on a budget, so that's about all I got. Past turn. We'll draw. Uh, we'll play a Forest and Droraga Tree Speaker. Would you look at that? We got game actions. I'm done. Cool. Untap. Let's draw. And play Forest. Yep. Go two. Play Trail of Sara. That's too. That's too fast. Boom, boom, boom. So you get a Johnny's Welcome, but then Trilisara was around to see it happen. Yeah, and I'm going to scry one. Yeah, wow. Good player scry to the bottom. Hopefully. Good player scry to the bottom. Nope, they scry to the top. Uh, <laughs> Foley, Foley is an awful Magic the Gathering player, 2022 confirmed. Dude, that was confirmed back in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Uh, draw for turn, I'm going to drop Glass Pool Mimic as a land. Look at that. Uh, which is a uh, Glass Pool Shore. Now play your Soul Ring. No, I gotta pass. Oh, rats. On tap, upkeep, draw for turn. Okay, while this taps for blue. Oh, wait, does it matter? You guys ever wonder if anything matters? Just like in general? Nothing. Nothing matters. I agree. I'm actually gonna. Do I play it slow? What do you do? Beginning of <laughs> You're really cool. You, okay, but it's. You wanna set it up. You don't just wanna play it out. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'll play. Man, this Soul Ring feels really dumb right now. I'm gonna play Sunken Hollow Tapped as my land for turn, which triggers River of Tears, okay. and it taps for black, and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna play this here Shambling Guest. Yeah. And with that, I will pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll untap, and draw. And uh, we'll play a Firelit Thicket, 
We're gonna level up our our dude. Imagine that. And then he's gonna tap for two. We're gonna cast Nature's Lore. Ooh. You gonna go get yourself a little basic land? We got Stomping Ground. We're gonna lose two life. Yeah. And we're gonna play more mana. It's a Fintorn Elves. Everyone Ew. should be alarmed. Um, vroom, vroom. Pass. Maybe. Cool. Yeah. Here goes a Druid class. Druid class. Oh. Line for turn. Boom, Druid boom. class, gain a life, trail of Sara, gets mm-hmm. a thing. Druid yep. class does trigger, it is on its first saga. Yep. Well, well it's, a, it's a class. It's a cl- it's not its first class, it's class number one. Level one. Yeah. You have to manually saga that saga. Um, I'm gonna go to combat. You, you scry. Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right. Good player scry where fully? To, to the, the bottom. bottom. Calvin's wide open. He is wide open. Everyone knows about Cephas at this point. I also want to get on Guy while I feel like I still can. That's, that's actually a highly valid point, and Calvin loves to hear that. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, we're gonna get on. We're gonna get on you while I can. For how much? Uh, four. Four commander damage. Up. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, don't show me cards in your hand. I'm tap drunk. Dirty surface, baby. No, no. It's better than that. I'm gonna play planes. This yeah. is my white source. Tell you know what I can do? Door. You wanna know what I'm doing with it's that white source? Nadar. I'm gonna play Nadar. It's fucking Nadar. <laughs> I knew it. True Nadar. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, we go in, we're going to the dungeon. It's not as good as what's happening over here, but I'm also gonna scry. Think about that. <laughs> so I drew my land, which means I do have the right to scry to the bottom if I want. Uh, yeah, we'll put that at the bottom. Yeah. Pass. Oh, on tap, upkeep, draw for turn. At some point, I'm gonna start using the soul ring. Um, it's probably gonna be today. Uh, does it matter if this trigger's not necessarily? Here's what I'll do. Man, this is gonna be a boring ass turn, you guys. My mana is so uh, awkward. I'm gonna put my land for turn, trigger, and river of tears. I'm gonna float five. Here's Wilhelt the Rock Cleaver. Man. <laughs> nice. Hey, guy. That's up. Watch me hit Foley for one. Ooh, you got it. Ooh. And then whenever another could. So at the beginning, I'm gonna go to my end step. We're that, that colorless floating is gone. We're going to my end step. And this guy's like, at the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a zombie if you do draw a card. I'm gonna sacrifice this shambling ghast. And that has a trigger that goes on top of the drawing a card thing. So here is a uh, one of the one of them there treasures. Then I'll draw a card. And then what, what happens? Whenever a zombie you control die, if it didn't have decayed, you make a oh look at that. You make a This is the best shambling ghast anyone's ever cast in your life. Um, here's my two two. It's very important that shambling gas is in the graveyard now. Yeah, it's fine. Pass turn. On. I do have Tap. The graveyard hate. Oh boy. If I draw it. Uh, we're gonna play. It's very important. Of course. There's another graveyard deck. Yeah. We're gonna tap all seven mana. What does that even what? mean? Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> we're casting Kaima. So that's okay. four of it. And then we're gonna put shiny impetus on. Um, yeah. Right yeah. over oh, there. Oh no. Hey man, I thought we were gonna be cool. Oh, we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, we're you got your commander. You're gonna be fine. We're gonna move to my end step. That's goaded. Yep. Boom. Cool. Well, yeah. Good talk. You all set? I'm all set. Cool. Go ahead and draw a card. Go. I'm gonna go two. We're gonna play Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Trigger, all Johnny's welcome. Do this, do that, scry one. Scry to the top, actually. You're seeming like Whoa. not a great player to me today. No. And actually, we're just gonna keep that at the top because, actually, do I, mm, I do want it. I do want it. He wants it. Um, Is it because it's really awkward because I'm about to go... Oh, actually, I'll change up my strat. Uh, we're going to play a Rogue's Passage. We're going to gain a life. Oh, my God. We're going to do this. You I'm can scry. Scry to the top. You're not going to go to the bottom this time? Nope. Oh. Okay. So much lost information. Yeah. And then... The important information is that Foley has a 8-8. Uh, that is the important info. And I don't know who to attack yet. I mean, it should probably be me right now. Because I think out of the gate, this is the scariest. By a lot. Yeah. Shambling gas in the graveyard does mean something, but it's not an AB combo. It's an ABC. It's an ABC. It's an ABC D combo. Okay. You need a way to sacrifice the shambling gas, a way to cast it from the graveyard, and you need the shambling gas, and you need something that hurts people as it's coming in and out. Yeah. You need four pieces to execute the combo. Uh, so yeah, Kelvin. Honk. Trigger. Honk, honk. I make a treasure. It says treasure, right? So it doesn't happy. say uh, gold or anything weird like that. Uh, it says uh, treasure, yeah. Sweet. You wish it was gold so you could tap it for mana and sack it. Yeah. With Galaza. Yeah. Prismari. That was some of the cool stuff. I missed that deck. What's up? I'm gonna take six. Okay. It's eight. Uh, it's eight. Eight? It gets plus two, plus two from the... Oh, right. Eight. Oh, yeah. Commander damage. Oh, yeah. 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 Go ahead. <laughs> On tap. Upkeep draw. I'm going to play an Esper... P- 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 
Panorama? Pan- oh, that, you mean the classic budget land. Very classic, very budget, very combat, very fully. <laughs> I'm coming yeah. in on you. But, um, hey, wait. Okay, oh boy. <clears throat> I get a treasure. Here comes the mana. I'll, just, I'll block with Daxos. Um, okay, that's fine. They bounce off each other. I'm going to move to my second main phase. Yes, sir. Um, I am going to play one, two, three, four. I'm going to play Hostage Taker. Yeah, that's a banger. Uh, Hostage Taker enters the battlefield. I'm going to target Soul Ring. It's gone. It's your Soul Ring. I'm casting it. Ta-da! Stinky. Yow. And then I'm going to pass the turn. On tap, up, keep, draw. That's a curve. Um, let's play, do I need many blues? Okay, here's what we have to do. I want to tap River of Tears for blue and black. I want blue and black because I want to play a Blade Stitch Scab. This is, a, this is a attack anthem for my zombies. Yeah. And then... Then I'll play, I guess, Unclaimed Territory, naming Zombie, which triggered River of Tears, but it's tapped, so it hardly matters. Then we will go to combat. How big's Kaima? It's a 4-4. Four, four. It's a 4-4? Four, four. Fully is it? Man, Fully sure is a life gain deck. And we got a 3-3 three, three and a 2-3. Two, three. Is that what those are? Yeah. Okay, Calvin, I'm actually going to attack you with a 3-2, is what we're going to do. 3-2. I'll take 3. A 3? Yeah, that's fine. And now, do I want to do this here? All right, with the decay trigger on the stack, I'm then going to tap for two more, and I'm going to cast Plumb the Forbidden. Ooh. Um, there's an additional cast, as an additional cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice one or more creatures. When you do, copy the spell for each creature you sacrifice this way. It's you draw a card and lose a life. I'm sacrificing two creatures. Whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have decay, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with decayed, and my blade shit scab did die. So here's a 2-2 with decayed. Um, and then the Plum the Forbidden is going to happen one, two, three times. The first time for it, yep. and then I sacrifice two creatures. So I lose three and draw three. And then after that, I'm just going to pass the turn. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a zombie if you draw a card. I guess I could just do this right now, right? Nah. Go ahead. Untap. And draw. Uh, we'll play a Rock Vol Veil, revealing a forced. Hey, that's not how that card works. Um, that's game trail. Isn't it? <laughs> it's game trail. Well, this is the first time you played the Rockfall Veil. You did it wrong this that time too. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It was a meme. Remember that? It, was it, it does come into play untapped. You yeah. have two basics. I have two. You have two any land. Yeah. It's, got, it's, on the, it's a slow land. I can't. Guy promises is doing all this on purpose. Fucking read. <laughs> this is. This was a it's joke. Okay. I don't read my cards either. It was a test. Fools. You, you all passed. Um, speaking of passing, you wouldn't just pass the turn here, would you? Uh, my guy, I I think this I, can't block. It's a two three, but a three two, but it can't block. It's got decayed. And, no, it's a two two. My lord's gone. You got a two two and a three three. The three three can block. The two two can't. So I could attack you. You could be a meanie weenie. But I like F- Calvin not attacking me with his three three. So I'm gonna go to my end step and make a five five. Yeah. Wow. Neat. Yeah. Oh, it's not a new 5-5. Five five. Your 4-4 four four just becomes it, a 5-5. It's, it, it's gonna right. get bigger. So you're all set? I'm all set. All right. Let's draw a card. Hey, oh. it's that card I put there. I don't actually know how useful it is, but it sounds useful. Soul's Attendant, which Attack. is any creature. So That's one, two triggers gain two counters, and it's two separate scry one triggers. Something's got to be done about this man. Scry to the bottom. Goodbye, Soul Ring. And scry to the bottom. Good player twice this time. Good player twice. So you're, yeah. you're like breaking even. I, I'm breaking parity, you know. Yeah. That Trailasara has to attack. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's a that is not cool. That's a 10 10. And it's not my problem. And here's it's, the thing. I really <laughs> sure don't isn't. want to attack Kelvin again, but I don't know if it's worth it to like switch targets. That's your call. You, however, you are you are being a Voltron deck right now. Let's uh, let's put some damage on Adrian. Okay, I'm gonna move to blocks. Yeah, doesn't have trample, correct? No. I'm gonna block with Will Help the Rock Cleaver. Yeah. I'm gonna sacrifice this treasure. I'm gonna cast Village Rice. There's an additional cost to cast that. I'm gonna sacrifice Will Help. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Very good. May I draw two cards? You sure can. Yeehaw. White okay. counter spell. What? I make a treasure. Gotcha. Yeah, you got it. Because of the yeah. impetus. Um, I'm done, Pastor. I'm gonna untap. Yeah. Yeah. Upkeep draw. Uh, I'm going to play an island as my land for turn. I'm going to enter combat. Combat's good. Um, I'm going to... That still has two power. Yeah, it's yeah. always two power. It just, gets, always, it just gets a toughness. It's a toughness equals to uh, white uh, pips. So it's right now it's five. He could double block. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that he does lose his... Uh... I, I will... I like this. You like wait, your soul sister's decks like souls attendant? Yeah. That's weird. But it's still probably safe for fraction when you get just attack for free into Adrian. I'll take three. One, two, three, but you venture. I'm just I'm just motioning to not do anything about it. Uh venture, target creature gets minus four, minus zero until your next turn. Trans- Remember right. that. Remember that. 
Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, good. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Laughing in snakeskin veil. <laughs> <laughs> minus four, minus zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now it's just a six ten. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to tap for Sephiroth's mana to cast Sephiroth. That's a Sephiroth. Trigger Soul Sister. Yeah. Nonsense happens. Scry one. They get another. Thank you, guy. Wow. Uh, we're gonna scry. Trailer is so ridiculous. It's really good. Uh, and then I'm going to pass the turn. That's it? Okay, on tap. I've got this decayed zombie. You guys don't know what's gonna come. Draw. It's, it all started with a uh, tapping for black, black, and casting Undead Augur. Mmm. Very tasty. Yeah, trigger. Whenever Undead Augur or another zombie you control dies, draw a card and lose a life. Are you so a top or are you a bottom fully? Fully be scrying. I really want to go to the bottom. He's gonna leave it on top. We get to, we, We're gonna go to the top. We might, we might get to find out. Alright, fully. I'm gonna go to combat in a... Hey, guy. <laughs> Two. Stinky two. So whenever another zombie, zombie. control dies, oh, yeah. a bing bong. Okay, decay trigger. Oh, it didn't, it didn't matter. I'm gonna lose a Got him. Got him. <laughs> um, after that, shit, this is hard, you guys. I'm bad, very bad at this game. I'm gonna play a swamp as my land for turn, triggering River of Tears. It yeah. makes black, which is fine. I'm gonna tap for three, and I've got eight cards in hand, making it make perfect sense to just drop a Plague Belcher. Boom. Hey, that's Boom. a, that's a, that's it's a beat. Aristocrat. That's Boom. a beat. We're gonna, beat. Keep, we're gonna keep that on top. Um, and I'm just gonna have it target itself with the two minus one, minus one, minus one counters. So we're chilling with a three, two with Menace. Nice. And then I will, um, I've got seven here, so I'll pass. Draw. And uh, we're gonna tap two, and we're gonna play Tempered in Solitude. Whenever a creature that's you control me. attacks alone, I sell the top card, Revivory, you may play that card this turn. Nice. Uh, we found a card to play with. So now we have a 5-5. Five, five. Adrian, you have a 2-2 two, two, and a 3-2. Three, two. A 3-2 three, two with Menace. With Menace. That's kind of cool. Calvin has a lot. I have stuff. You got some... I have... You got some beef. I got some beef. Fully, let's pay it back. I'm going to come at you with my 5-5. Five, five. Trigger! I'm going to exile the top card of my library. I can play it until it's... So oh, there we go. There it is! <laughs> right on time. How many lands you got in your hand right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first non land I drew. It's five. It's five. Five is fine. It's yeah, five is fine. All right. It's commander damage, but he's going to go down to 43. Um, so we're going to cast this three visits. Thin this deck out. Thin this deck out, please, oh dear God. We got a Cinder Glade. We'll play a forest for turn and uh, fuck it. We're going to level up our tree speaker because we forgot to last time. More mana. All that fucking mana. All that mana. Um, end step. Bang. We get bigger. All right, let's untap, keep draw, and um, let's just run it. Let's go, Ariac Champion. Oh, oh yeah. One, two, three. <clears throat> trigger, trigger, trigger. Oh. So that's 14, 15, 16. Six, 12, Scry plus one. four is 16, minus four is 12. Yeah. I'm gonna scry to the top for the second one, and scry to the top for the third one. You are a bad player today. Yeah. He found the sauce. But it is, it is absolutely the sauce. I hope. Good. I can't wait. Um, man, I really won't. I'm sad I only have one green mana. Calvin, let's just honk. BB. Honk, honk. 12. Trigger. Uh, 12 plus, actually, 12. Yeah, because yeah, it's minus four, right? Yeah. Um, I will block with the hostage taker. You got it. Move to damage? Yeah. Hostage taker is going to die. Yeah. Trigger Zephyrus. Bum, bum, I'm going to venture. Bum, yeah. I'm going to drop it. Dungeon complete. <laughs> Trigger venture. Zephyrus. I got a hostage taker. Yeah. I want a hostage to take uh, Trellisar. All right. Tammy will see if keep it. Laughs and veal of summer. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to gain two life. I'm going to make it stronger. Yeah. Uh, thank you you need more dice for that one. And we're going to still keep this on top. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Also, a creature entered, so one, two, th or one, two, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then two more. <laughs> Fully, just, I need you to fucking relax a little bit. And then, yeah, so. You just won the last budget game, too. I'm, I, I Remember really, the Averna game, everybody? I really like budget. Yeah, you, you know, me too. All right, I, I'm, I'm all set. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on my next turn. Um, yeah, now I'm going to tap uh, three. I'm going to play Forbidden Alchemy. Yeah. On your end step. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to... It doesn't trigger Sephiroth or do any of that nonsense, but I want to see... I want to see if I put one card in my hand and the rest into the graveyard. I'll put this one into my hand, and we will put Clawing Augur, Solemn Sentinel Arkham, and Selfless Slaver into the graveyard. Yeah. Cool titty. And now I'm going to untap. 
And sure. I am going to play a Swamp as my land for turn. Enter water, combat. Water's fine. Water's fine, baby. Enter combat, uh, Nadar, your way. For three? Yeah. Trigger. Uh, trigger, I get to choose a dungeon. Do I want to go into two now, or do I want to play a little safer? Let's go into two now. Tomb of Annihilation, everyone loses a life. Dink. And then I'll take three. This is a black. And then this is four other. Technique! It's technique time. Yeah. Right. I mill five and then put a creature in the... From your battlefield. He's demonstrating, so it's all coming together. Oh, well there's that card that I wanted to have. We're gonna put Land of War Elves into play. Trigger everything. Trigger. Trigger everything. So we're gonna go big, big one, boy. two, three, four. And I'm gonna scry one four times and put four counters on there. Scry to the bottom, right to the bottom, scry to the bottom, and scry to the bottom. Mm. Now uh, Calvin gets two. My first one, Plains, Drown, or Dark Water Catacombs, Exhum, Swamp, and Tortured Existence. Um, which ironically does not trigger Sephiroth. Put these here, we're gonna grab Solemn Simulacrum. Yeah. Um, which does a bunch of triggers. Yeah. Uh, and before we resolve the next incarnation technique, we're gonna resolve those. Yeah. Do you want me to wait for the scry or? No, no I searching you can scry. Yeah, go ahead. That's cool. Scry to the bottom. You get two more, that's right. Wow. Just to be clarify, you scry two to the bottom? Yeah. We found a swamp off Solemn. And now we have a second incarnation, which finds Buried Alive, Agent of Treachery, <laughs> Rebel Art, <laughs> Plains, Demir House Guard. Oh yeah. Now we have to make choices. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Ooh. We have to resolve this before the Sephiroth trigger actually finishes up. Mm -hmm. um, I think we are going to Demir House Guard? Or a sack outlet. A sack outlet. Mm -hmm. On that second uh, incarnation, Sephiroth sees a creature go to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. So this is so that enters play, I'm gonna yeah. do this twice again. So two more. Yeehaw. Bottom. And bottom. In this uh, second room, I'm going to go into Obliette. Mm -hmm. And in Obliette, I have to discard a card. Um, let's say this component pouch is not going to do me much good. So I'm going to discard component pouch. I'm going to sacrifice a land. I'm going to sacrifice an artifact. And I'm going to sacrifice a creature. Mm -hmm. Ta-da. We will put this clone into the graveyard. These go into the graveyard. When Solemn dies, I draw a card. Yeah. Whee. And then, I can't do anything more fun right now this exact second, so I have to pass the turn. At your end step, mm -hmm. I would like to blast Sephiroth in a pyro way. Blast it in a pyro way? Yeah. Foley, is that a rogue's passage? Yeah. Just wanted to be 100% sure of what I was looking at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you, you've got the, the, the fourth land to activate it with. Yeah, that's not just, that's just... Sorry I said anything, actually. Um, that's fine. That's fine. I'll put her in the bin. Got it. My yeah. Is um, it happening? Yeah. On tap. Upkeep. Draw. What do I do? I have no clue. But it's gonna start by tapping two swamps. I'm gonna tap two swamps. And I'm gonna cast Sign and Blood targeting myself. That's a lot of drawing you're doing. Before I go, I, my deck kinda just draws cards. One, two, they're not very good. They're both lands. I'll put that there. But that means they're lands I don't have to draw later. So, you know, that's neat. Yeah. And then, um... You know, you always gotta look at the uh, positive side of things. Right. I'll play Shipwreck Marsh, triggering River of Tears. River of Tears taps for black now. It taps for black. I'll go into Combat Guy. Yes. Both of these bad boys. Both of those stinkers? Both of the stinkies. Uh, so that's, that's five? That's five. I think I can lose some... Wait... I might need these later. I'll take five. Yeah, I kind five. of thought you'd say something along those lines. <laughs> um, and then, hmm, I actually think I'm invested in protecting Foley in a weird roundabout way. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is move to discard. Um, I'm going to pitch uh, a tap land. I don't want this. No, it's not a tap land. I'll pitch this uh, clear water pathway. I have a, I'm like you right now. I drew a bunch of cards, but guy, would you believe it if I showed you Oh no. the bads? Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you fast. At least uh, I have seven, though. Untap. And that gets untapped too. And then we're gonna draw a card. That's a fun one. I like that. Do yeah, it. Fuck yeah. Card. Fuck yeah. So we're gonna go. Um, you won't. You're scared. I'm so scared, Scoob. We're gonna tap three, and we're gonna cast a uh, Glint Horn Buccaneer. That is one, a two. banger. Foley, you having a good time over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure I am. You piece of shit, motherfucker. Um. That's right. One. So we're gonna head into combat. That's a 3-4 and a 3-3. Three, three. Scry yeah. to the top. 
Foley's got pro red and enough power to. Foley, you could kill me. Foley, Foley's about to take out Calvin. I bet money. I'm going to do it. Calvin just de demonstrated um, Revel Arc in the graveyard, a free sack outlet, um, and a tropple that lets him uh, do this f this really wild thing where he sacrificed his glass pool mimic, which is a clone as a land, and put it into the graveyard. There's some stuff happening over there. Yeah. Um, There's nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah. I'm gonna. It you probably hit me. I'm, man. I'm gonna return yeah, my favor. Me. We're gonna head to combat. I'm gonna attack you with Glenhorn Buccaneer. We got some triggers. We'll before combat. Yeah, before attack, damage. Yeah. Yeah. Attack triggers before blocks. So we're gonna exile the top card to Tempered Solitude. We get an enchantment, and then um, I can pay two. Pay I can two pay mana. Two to discard a card. Look at that. It's a forest. Um, everyone takes one. One. Beep, beep, one. Beep. One. Foley, what are you gonna do, man? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and we're gonna draw a card. And you know what? It's still attacking. We're gonna do it again. Um, we're gonna draw a card. That's a good one. I like I like that. I'm gonna declare my block, so I'm taking two or three. You're just taking two. One, two. Um, second main phase, we're going to pop some treasures. Um, yeah, we'll do it like that. So here's a, no, we'll do it one at a time. Here's a frog tongue. I'm casting frog tongue. Yeah. Where are we gonna put it? Uh, probably this Nadar that's pooping in my punch bowl. Um, no, you're about to die, I think. <laughs> you probably put it on one of my things, because we'll I think put it I think I'm next to die, because Foley actually can't attack you until I'm dead. We'll put it on your menace guy. So yeah. hey, your guy has reach. Think about um, that. I'm gonna draw a card. And you know what? We found the land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna cast this crown of flames. Crown of flames. Um, and we're gonna put that on uh, this one right there. Oh, my creatures. Yeah. They're goaded. They're goaded with the sauce. I uh, can't hold up blockers for Foley. End step. <laughs> That's pretty neat. One, two, three. My guy is kind of big now. It's a nine nine. Pass. Cool. It's Foley time. Untap. Okay. Um. I think, yeah. I think Calvin's got a trick. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's probably I got mean, white fog. White fog. White fog. That doesn't exist. It, it does. Angel song. I play it. And Gabi, it cycles. <sighs> so here's the thing. Adrian, you know a lot about Gabi. Some some would say I'm a simp. Uh, yeah, no. So I guess we're going to activate Rogue's Passage. Oh, are you going to give your girl unblockable? Yeah, she's unblockable. Right. We're going to go into combat, and Calvin, what do you got? Show me Show me. What I mean, got. I guess before attacks, because of before the, attacks. the treasure, I'm going to cast Swords to Plowshares. I'm going to negate yep. Boom. Swords to Plowshares. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's happening right now. Boom. And then move into Remember it. when I said protect fully? That's, yeah. Trigger. I'll make a treasure. And then, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Calvin, now that you're dead, this is like the second time you've seen Sephiroth not win the game and said, what's in your hand? I just gotta know. Well, we know there's the at. agent of treachery. I did find a karmic guide, which and, could have looped around if uh, Demir stayed alive. And you've yeah. got the, the other one. Passing to you would have been fatal, um, I, to if, be sure. I think I could have had it if that first incarnation technique hit a creature. Yeah, that, that was a that was a dead. I think that's the first time I've seen a dead incarnation neck technique in your deck. Just period. And that, that power blast probably because you, you it, it took the power during. blast and the negate and the rogues pass just to take him out. So mm -hmm. build Sephiroth. Because like if if you had untapped with Sephiroth, or sorry, if, if you go into Adrian's turn with Sephiroth, you could have completed a dungeon and got something. Well, what would have happened if the, the incarnation technique hit a creature is the uh, glass pool would have been in the yard before the second the final incarnation technique would resolve. And then that could come into play as a copy of, say, Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. The original Sephiroth would... goes to the graveyard, the new one sees it. I and then trigger, yeah. And then this oh. doesn't actually stop anything um, from on your end, right? Players can't cast spells or activate the these of cards in graveyard. They can, it stop some things, but not Are you holding not a Grab Digger's Cage right now? Oh, Ashes of the Aberrant. That's a good one. I was, I was, I kept that on the topic because I thought it would stop him. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. Stop it. Killing him stops him, too. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be good against me. Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. Unless I draw very luckily, my fate's about to be the exact same as Calvin's just yeah. was. So. Uh, pass the turn. Pass to me? Yeah. Uh, uh, one chance. One spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Oh, where are you? Are you nervous? I'm fucking freaking out. Um, so I have a reveal card from top of number two. Yeah, no, it's not a creature card. It's not a stupid way to go ahead and bet if you rest the bottom of There's a chance. So first off, guy wants me to tap my creatures, and we're just not going to be doing that. We are not going to be tapping my creatures. You guys don't have blue. My blue player is gone. So this exotic orchard doesn't make blue. Fuck off. We also don't have black. It's, yeah. So, wow. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. I'm going to tap uh, this River of Tears for blue and this Shipwreck Marsh for blue. And then I'm gonna pay X as two, and I'm gonna play Empty the Laboratory. 
Uh, I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to choose to sacrifice two zombies and then reveal cards from the top of my deck until I reveal number of zombie creatures equal to the number of zombies sacrificed this way. Put those cards into the battlefield and the rest in the bottom of my library in a random order. I have a response. Cool. <laughs> uh, I'm going to crack treasure for a red and return Crown of Flames to my hand. You oh, can have hey. that. Is everything else good? Yeah. So these two die and they put their triggers on. Is the that the only card in your hand? Now it is. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> actually, is this an additional cost? Though? No. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna sacrifice these um, to the empty the laboratory. And um, what's gonna happen is the undead auger is gonna tr trigger twice. Um, so that's gonna lose me two life and draw two cards. But also the plague belcher, no, that's just another. The plague belcher triggers once, so you guys each lose one. Dink, dunk. And I lose two and draw two. And then we're gonna do the empty the lab. Um, I'm gonna reveal sacrifice and reveal cards till I hit a number of zombie creatures equal. Death Baron, Wish Claw Talisman, Swamp. Diabolic Tutor, Muddle the Mixture, huh? Island, Dark Water Catacombs, Tainted Adversary. Ooh. And where do these go? Bottom in a random order. So you've got a Death Baron and a Tainted Adversary whose pit cost I cannot pay. So that's, it's just gonna be a Death Hunter. That's a bummer. And it gets the Lord effect from the Baron. Put that there. Oh, Foley. You're just gonna murder me. Um, oh, by the way, two creatures came into play, so does it trigger stuff for me? Oh, right, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah. One, two, and then scry one twice. Yeah. Scry to the bottom. To the bottom, and scry. I don't like that. Be a good magic player, Foley. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Timmy. For what it's, it's so Timmy. I'm gonna scry to the bottom. For what it's worth, you, you should do it two more times because Souls Attendant triggered twice and Oriox Champion triggered it's twice. True. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. You're on four. <laughs> this is Rishkar's expertise. Draw like thirty cards, but uh, yeah, who needs it? Who needs, needs it? it? Yeah. <laughs> who needs that? And you get two more. I'll, I'll wait. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, scry to the bottom and scry to the bottom. Am I good to proceed? Yeah. Here's a swamp, it's my land for turn. And then I guess I'll just pack the serpent targeting myself. I'll choose zombies. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. dong. Discard. I'll put this path of ancestry into my bin and pass. Untap. I've been one step away from just winning this game for the last three turns. <laughs> That's why I'm farming so hard. I, I literally like a carrying feeder and I can win. Draw. Cause that, she's right here. That ain't it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, hey. <laughs> no. Yeah. These have death touch too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Um, so you've got three blockers. One of them's pro red. And this one is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's in your hand? Yeah. Oh, Man, garbage. you're so dead. Fucking garbage. I'm dead, then you're dead. We'll and I could kill Guy if I wanted to. We'll, we'll start here. I mean, you can kill me after, um, after you yeah, kill him. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start things off by uh, putting this crown of flames on our Glithorn Buccaneer. That's not a curiosity. <gasps> what if it was a sixth sense? Does it work? That does keen sense work in this deck? It does. Mm. I'm, I'm fishing. Mm. I'm, He's looking for it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So is this tap for two or one? Two. Two. Taps for two. Two. We're under combat. Foy. Um, yeah. Oh, this has to be Most alone. Yeah. It has to be alone. Probably yeah. still just Glinthorn, right? For the Because it needs to attack. Yeah. And then you can block and kill it. I, can, I don't think I can kill it. You, I, I you, could, you, yeah. could, you could double block it, uh, but well, no, no, because that's only three powers. It's a two-four mob block. I'd have to sacrifice this if I want to do. No, you could put these two in front of it because that's pro red. Yeah, but these are three power, and that's a two-four. It's true. You have four toughness. He needs four power. He won't attack his. Uh, no. His oh, in it. okay, I see. Combat. Yeah, we're gonna attack with Glenhorn Buccaneer at fully. Trigger tempered in solitude. Come on. All right. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Nice. Cool. 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 Um, before anything happens. Yeah. We're gonna let me loot. We're gonna loot. This makes two red, so we can do it like this, right? Like this. This makes two red. Yeah, so you can filter two red and then tap two green and use one red and one green to do it and float the red and the green like that. Like this. Yeah. This is two red and two green. Yep. There we go. So you're floating a red and green right now. I'm floating red and green. We're gonna discard this uh, land. Draw a card. One. We're gonna discard this land. Pull and draw card. one. Is it a land? Oh, uh, it's pretty good. That's I doesn't help you right now. Doesn't help me right now. I think Foley just won this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Enchantress, you gotta go. Ding, dong. Draw card. <laughs> it still has like a... So I drew a Kendra's transformation. It doesn't take the counters away. <laughs> it just take the counters away. <laughs> it doesn't take the counters away. It's too big. It's too big. Um, two. Pitch that, I guess. Mm. Dink. 
Dink. Dink, dink. That ain't it. That ain't it. Um, we'll go two green and uh, a red. Green Pitch floating. It. Green floating. Dink, dink. Oh, that ain't it either, my guy. Last treasure, last green. Could this be it? No, he's that's unblockable, my guy. That's right, that is unblockable. Yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> Sack of treasure, fully enabled to take one again. One more time. All right. Fully, you can move to blocks. I promise. Oh, well, we get to keep it. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. Move to blocks, yeah, I'll already have champion on it. All right, so we just bump off each other? Yeah, yeah. they fist bump. Boom. Cool. Um, second main phase. We'll play this land. You did it. That does let you play, right? What a good ass card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could put it into Rafik. End step. Yep, trigger. It gets one. Yeah. Let's go to it. I'm ready to die. Joke's on you. <laughs> There's a carrying feeder right here. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> right. Um, Trellisar is unblockable. Yeah, man. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Death. Let me just hop out of here. Okay. Ow. Go ahead, guys. Trigger. I, may, I make a treasure. You sure do. <laughs> Yahoo. Um, all right. Let's let's go. We're gonna draw for turn. It was never gonna happen. That ain't it. Uh, How many cards deep was it? To find out, that was five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh no. 12, because the alternate dimension was above it. That technically would have worked as well. Still a bit too far. Still a bit too far. I think I could have drawn six cards on my turn tops. That, that wouldn't have been enough. You cycled through a Di Diabolic Tutor at one point as well. I was blazing through my deck. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find it. Really. Blazing. Combat. Foley. Thunhorn Buccaneer. Yeah, Trigger. yeah, yeah, triggers, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, let's do that first trick, same as the verse. Here's a uh, red, red, green, green. Red, red, green, green. We're gonna pitch this Vile Cut exploration. Uh, you're gonna lose a life. I'm gonna draw a card. And we're gonna pitch this uh, Bequeathal. You're gonna lose a life. I'm gonna draw a card. No more floating manas. Um, we're gonna go green, green, red, red. We're gonna pitch this card. You're gonna lose a life. I'm gonna draw a card. We're gonna pitch that card. You're gonna lose a life. I'm gonna draw a card. We're going to. So we have four. Five. Um, yeah. Let's go one, two, pitch this, lose a life, I'm gonna draw a card. Two, pitch this, I'm gonna draw a card. So deep. Cause I've gone so deep and, and I'm so dead. fucking dead. Um, hey, is it block sign? Block. Oh, it's pro red. <laughs> Pro red. Is it Foley's turn? Uh, play land. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. That's it. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Foley, can you just show me how you do it? Yeah, I, yeah, you got it, dude. Here. Untapping, that's pretty Untapping, good. Untapping, and then I'm keeping and drawing, and then, and then, um, and then unblockable, unblockable, and then, and then yeah. attack. Guy, do you have any effects? No. <laughs> no. Foley's the king of budget. He's the new king of budget. He's first watching PewDiePie. 